Uh, my name is Paul and today I am going to show you how to take great astrophotography photos with the Google 6 phone. Now this is the standard version not the pro version but the camera is equally as impressive on this even though it doesn't have the telephoto lens which the pro has but it still has the nighttime mode which is what we need to use to get those great astrophotography shots of the stars uh, you, know, you see lots of cool photos on Facebook and Instagram of the stars and this is how you get those shots essentially now what is astrophotography uh, it's essentially taking photos of the stars um, and this phone has a dedicated function um, for taking those types of photos which is which is quite cool because it's, it's pretty much the first phone that really uh, well the Google range of phones is the first sort of company that has that particular function um, I don't see why Google don't really sell on that point on all their advertising um, but it's great for doing that now uh, how essentially this works um, the astrophotography board it takes photos uh, every 16 seconds for four minutes uh, <laughs> and the computational software uh, in the phone basically uh, aligns all those photos together and creates a fantastic image now um, I've tried doing astrophotography before on with, with previous handsets it's a bit of a pain in the arse uh, you have to have a manual camera uh, settings on the, on the phone you have to get a decent ISO about 800 uh, ISO uh, pretty decent long shutter time and then you have to use like uh, competitional software like deep sky stack and just stack all those photos and align it together while the Google phone um, it just does all that in the background in that mode it's got to say it's pretty fantastic now uh, what you will need in order to do these photos obviously is a <laughs> you need a pretty sturdy tripod um, uh, and a phone holder um, and <laughs> key to this is it needs to be pitch dark outside um, preferably no ambient light or, you know any, any light pollution even though this phone uh, it does handle light pollution pretty well um, but we want to take the photos in the dark around the new moon with no moonlight and preferably as I said no ambient lights like you know porches porch lights and you know lights from you know people's houses and windows um, for the sake of this video I'm gonna do it in my back arms it's the darkest I could get it you know there's, there's you know it's, I live in, you know we live in South Wales essentially there's lots of light pollution around so um, to be fair what, I, what, what I'm getting with the camera is pretty good uh, for the location I'm with. So here we go, I'm going to show you how to do the photos now. Right, I'll see you outside. Now, here we are outside. Now I need to know where to shoot. Now I'm just going to use this program called Stellarium. Uh, now I want to point the camera at the Milky Way core. So I'm just using this application to see where that is. Now it's showing me that's south, southwest. So I'm just going to position the camera so it's right over that spot. Now Let's go into the actual camera mode. Now, um, it should be on night sight. Now it needs to be very still in order for it to switch over to the astrophotography mode. Any any motion it will go into that mode. So that's very important that you use a tripod to do this. Otherwise it won't work. Now it's just gonna change into the astrophotography mode. There we are, it's changed into the stars. So you just need to press the button ever so gently not to move the camera. Pop. No, pop again. There we are, it's working. Now it'll count down from four minutes. So I'm going to take it at this angle. Uh, and after that finishes, I'm going to try a few different other angles as well. Now these are the images I've taken. Uh, it's a nice view of the uh, Milky Way galaxy. It's created a nice little time lapse as well. Now I'm just going to edit these with Google Snapseed and I can see the Milky Way quite clearly. Um, it's a photo I took from uh, another angle of the same scene. The time lapse again which looks fantastic as well and the edit which you can see the Milky Way core. And one last photo uh, we zoomed in a little bit on the Milky Way core there. Uh, that's the time lapse and the edit. Right, ciao for now.